Hi, today we want to talk about finger sucking habit and thumb sucking habit. It is one of the most common problems we see in our practices today. It is affecting children, teenagers, and adults. Yes, some adults. It is interesting, but you will see it in different patterns. So for thumb sucking habit, you normally see it like this, or on the side. And then for finger sucking habit, you very often see two fingers, or one finger, the same finger upside down, or on the side. And that's how you see it in teenagers or children. When we see thumb sucking habit and finger sucking habit in children, our main concern is really the growth and development of the craniofacial structures. That means that it will change the way your face and your mouth grow. So it is like a chain reaction of problems. The first one, dental problems. So when we have the thumb sucking or the finger sucking habit, the upper teeth will actually flare out, they're gonna be sticking out, and the lower teeth will be actually pushed back, creating some crowding. There's also gonna be a space between the upper and lower teeth, which is what we call an open bite. An open bite is when the upper teeth and lower teeth are not meeting together, so there's a gap in between the teeth, and the patient is not being able to bite down all the way, the teeth are not meeting together, and then we develop what we call a tongue trusting habit, and it's when the tongue spends a lot of time between the teeth, when we swallow, when we smile, when we talk, which eventually will create speech problems. The other problem is that the upper and the lower jaw, now we're talking about the skeletal structures, don't grow the same way. So the upper jaw tends to be narrower, pointy, almost triangular, and the lower jaw tends to grow backwards and vertical. So we're really changing the way our jaws grow. This will actually end up in the change in the appearance of your child. With the upper jaw being so small, we also see a tendency for snoring at night. And that's another consequence of the thumb sucking habit. The last issue we're going to discuss is actually breathing. When the upper jaw is narrow, a lot of patients will develop some breathing problems and will develop what we call a mouth breathing. And that means that we're gonna keep the mouth open all the time and that also changes the appearance of your child. If you see any of these problems and if you know that your child is sucking their tongue or their finger, just give us a call. We're here to help you.